that you can do it and that you can sustain it. It's about every man playing hard on every snap. You go out there and you have fun and you hit them right in the mouth. to the lane, now pulls up the dribble, gives it to Bogan, Bogan drives, puts a shot up, it's good! It was a totally remarkable human being. Sport was his context, but his real stage was humanity. I will be 21 January the 17th, and I predict that by the end of 1963, I will be the youngest heavyweight champion in history. He was the best boxer I ever saw, and a kind of a prophet in a strange way. This is a kid who just said it. I'm the greatest. And he said it with poetry, poetic energy, poetic spirit. Everybody, everybody wanted to be Muhammad Ali. If I could just look like that, be like that, act like that, talk like that, fight like that, you know, I would give almost anything. Players proclaiming, I am the greatest. I am the king. And I'm just 22 years old. I must be the greatest. I do not the world. I do not the world. If, in fact, we're going to do this, we're all going to have to be on the same page. And it's going to take 15 guys in this locker room, you know, hanging tough, everybody doing their job uh, to get this thing done. Every time we had a team function, everybody showed up. Every time somebody's kids had a birthday party, everybody showed up. You know, it's, it's like a family. Once you get a group together like that, you don't have two over here, you don't have two over there. You got all of us right here as one. You stay strong that way, you stay united. It's just incredible that the guys stuck together, the team stuck together, and we pushed through that to overcome and do something and succeed when something's that hard. It's one of the most amazing things I've been a part of. And that's what it was all about for us. It was about a team um, victory. That's why we was always saying 15 strong, because we had to do it together. No matter what the game is or who you're playing against, you have to want the ball. The clock, the pressure, you block all that out. All you think about is what you have to do to win. That's why I love the end of the game, because it comes down to that one moment when it's all in my hands. Tie game with eight seconds left. The Bulls get it in play to Michael Jordan, no timeout. Michael into the front court. Left corner shot by Jordan. Go! Oh! 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 I don't always have to hit the last shot, but I do have to walk away knowing I did everything I could to win the game. When you step on the floor, it doesn't matter how many times you've done it before. All that matters is that you do it now. Practice for 
Those are the ones you never forget. For a second, but now the clock is running down. Three. Jordan for three. There's a lot of great athletes, but it's your determination that sets you apart. Michael Jordan saves the day. Defending world champions are one victory away from making it two NBA titles in a row. Compete to, to win. It's all I live for. Really. When you lose, you know, you're easily forgotten. Man. I don't think anyone would want to go to their grades forgotten. No matter what people said about me during the course of the year, what negative things happened to me, never affected us as a team. We kept focusing, kept moving towards that, that ultimate goal is to win a championship. Two seconds, one second, horn sounds, ball is all over. Oh my! The Gators have won the national championship. Tonight is not about the past and it's not about the future. It's about right now. You guys have got to want this night to last forever. It was the realization of a dream once considered impossible. The Gators, a winner tonight as the Screamers explode from the top of the RCA Dome. The Gators NCAA Championship was won for the ages. It was a story born out of a coach's blueprint for success and his players' passion for the game. It was about a team that cared not a lick about individual achievement, but one determined to achieve success as one. You've got to live in the moment and understand there's going to be adversity and there's going to be challenges. That is what's brought us close together as a team. Live in the moment, cherish each other, and go out there and play as a team. When the journey was over, no one needed to pinch anyone or wake up and wonder what happened. The scoreboard, high over the wild celebration, made it official. Florida, 73, UCLA, 57. The University of Florida was king of college basketball. With them Gator boys. The Gator boys are hot right now. It ain't gonna take nothing more than your best. That's all you got. Guys, greatness is only a few feet away from us. It's up to us to walk that mile. Nothing more than your best effort on every play. You play smart, you stay focused, and above it all, you play physical. In the hollowed skies of winter, a season comes full circle. Champions captured in metal, legends etched in gold and silver. Precious stones that tell the story of a team and the price that is paid for victory. Off the barrio. 
on the right wing. They're going to unload to Thomas. Swings in the lane. Punch the shot up and in. Good job by DeAndre Thomas. Four minutes, 12 seconds to play. Driving his barrels. He's going to put up about a 17-footer and hit the shot. Congratulations, Miami Heat. 2006 NBA champion. Walking around and gave everyone a card. He said it's 15 strong. Walk around with this card um, because the doubt is out there, and you guys got to prove them wrong. And the only way you can do this is stick together. And every game, he put more and more and more, and it just it just got bigger. And my belief just got stronger and stronger in each other. So it was always 15 strong. We was like brothers. Everybody together, you know, it's, it's like a family. Well, we gonna party, yes, man. You told me. <laughs> Yeah.